Hi there guys, it's Joey and today's video, this first video is going to be a few, is going to be a pure and simple announcement video uh, for a new product line for the store. I was wondering how to do this and I was like, I think the best way is just to announce it. We've been kind of teasing it and um, saying it's coming and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm going to be announcing a new product for Starry Eyed Supplies, which is my store, and that will be available in the next day or two. Hopefully today, maybe tomorrow, I've got the pictures done, so it's just about sorting it out on the store. And that is the anointing oils, the anointing perfume oils for Starry Eyed Supplies, and this is how they currently look. Uh, so this is Temple of Witches, which is the first scent, and they come in a 10ml amber glass bottle with a roller ball, roller ball, roller ball, roller ball, roller ball, roller ball application. And it's been a little while in the coming for a number of reasons. One, I wanted to have uh, tailor-made artwork so I could pop that on the front. So if you can see the tailor-made starry-eyed witch is on the front there. And I wanted to tweak the scent to make sure it was the scent of Temple of Witches, which is currently a smudge and now is available in a little roller ball. And basically that meant making sure the essential oils were kind of tweaked around to the point where it smelt like the the smudge. Because obviously with the smudge you have a little bit of, a, of an integration with different things, uh, with the herbs and the resins and things. So I wanted to make sure there was enough of the essential oils and balancing them out to make sure it smelt like Temple of Witches. So this is a essential oil based anointing oil with all natural ingredients in, in a carrier oil. And there is no nuts or anything like that, no nut oil or anything like that could, that could cause allergies in it. And as you can see, rollerball application uh, for ease, for a number of reasons. One uh, is less faulty and I went with uh, the metal rollerball. Uh, I think that's less likely to muck up than the plastic and it has a nicer feel to it as well. And I think, is there anything else we need for sort of logistics? <laughs> oh, and it's the rollerball allows for like application so it's easy just to apply it and also if you wanted to sort of uh, apply it in a sigil on, on you, you can do that really easily if you want to and you can just wear it like a, a scent if you wish. Right, so Temple of Witches is uh, a natural first choice because it's a favourite smudge of a lot of people. Now, my, me personally, I uh, my favourites are, I have three. I like Temple of Witches, Dark Queen, and now the Dark Crow, which is a new one, which is, is still in my heart right now. Um, but Temple of Witches is reasonably well thought of. <laughs> Uh, and people really enjoy it. So I, I've had requests in the past to make a, a perfume of the scent. So this is it. So Temple of Witches is designed to invoke images and smells of old world witch style temple. The energy process and images of this matrix conjured up was primal and powerful. The energy resonates around the energy of personal empowerment, witchy empowerment, and a del deeply delicious, naughty, sensual empowerment. There is a definite heady, sexy, lustful, and sensual quality, making it potent for cleansing places of sexuality, such as bedrooms, from any interfering energies that sort of get in the way of sensual relations, whether it be between you and a partner or if you are having personal blockages to your own sense of sensuality. This smell, this energy, brings the power back that calls to your blood, the deep ecstasy and personal release. Perfect for the empowerment of the female energy through within oneself through the primordial primordial sorry energy. Take back your power with this scent. There's also connection to the way of the old. It conjures up energy connection to soul imprints, that glimmer of recognition and memory from past life. Perfect for those wishing to connect to their past selves in order to reclaim their sense of self and purpose 
in this lifetime or to recognize past life connections to others also perfect for creating sacred space for ancient goddesses particularly dark goddesses such as Morrigan, Hecate, uh, Kersey, Kali, Hell and so forth. So yeah so there you go and it's in a uh, amber drop bottle um, to protect protect it um, protect the essential oils um, rather than a clear glass one which can um, let the light in more easily and, and heat and it interferes with it. So we went with an amber one and uh, so it looks a little bit darker in there than it is. Uh, but yeah I'm really happy with it finally. I've been tweaking and tweaking and tweaking until I'm happy with it and so now this is going to be available on store Per, as per request, it's going to be available. We are going to bring out other scents for this as long as people are, you know, interested and, and, and wanting wanting more. Um, so if people have a particular scent they want in oil next, let me know. Leave a comment in the down bar. We'll get on it. So there you go. So that's it for this announcement video. We're going to have more videos to come. Um, I was going to do them yesterday, but uh, the... Uh, men hammering outside were back yesterday at, at second window level that was fabulous but never mind we shall endeavor to continue any blessings